creates a sausage fest in here. I don't know how many of you can get my jokes, but I'm gonna try. So I had a good whole week today. It's kind of depressing. It was an old co-worker of mine, but it reminded me of a funny story that you know I can tell you. So again, I work in cosmetics, and I'm gonna tell you everything that annoys girls who work in cosmetics. So one Saturday, this woman comes up. She's like, I love this purple shadow. Can I try it on? So she tries it on. My boss, who just passed away, says, it looks beautiful on you. You should buy it. You know, how much is it? $17. Okay. I'm going to come back next week and think about it. Okay. Comes back the next week. She gets me. Tries it on the purple powder again. How does it look? It looks beautiful. You should really get it. You know, purple is like a hot shade. I'm going to think about it. Comes back the next week with me and my boss there. She goes, I want to try this purple shadow on again. I said, okay. I'm like, you know what? Why don't you do it yourself this time? Because, you know, we've done it for you. We'll see how you like it. She tries it and takes my brush, licks it, dips it in the shadow, puts it on, and I'm like, Ugh. So, ladies, if you ever at the cosmetic counter, don't try it on the shit. Make sure they wipe it down with alcohol because it's really nasty. <laughs> I take the shit, I throw it in the garbage. My boss goes to her, like, look, you've been here three fucking weeks. Figure it out. You either like the shadow or you don't. $17, you're not getting a goddamn mortgage. Of course she goes and she complains. Our boss comes out <laughs> and she starts laughing. You know, obviously the lady never came back. Um, but that's how we got the. the excuse me. <laughs> yeah, can you keep quiet? Thank you. Are you feeling her sweater up now too, buddy? Does she just go on feel nice? Aaron go bra. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be on for you, buddy. Trust me. Never know braless for you. <laughs> So anyway, that's how they tell the purple powder. So if you're ever in the cosmetics counter, and like women always wonder if they're being annoying, they're like, oh my God, my makeup's not done, I'm so sorry, my skin is bad, I'm so sorry, I'm not dressed, I'm so sorry. We don't care about that. If you're annoying and somebody else comes over and says, hey Alan, do you have that purple powder in stock? You know you're fucking annoying, okay? <laughs> Another thing we love to do, so I'm left-handed, I always have to put people, you know, it's, but being left-handed is so hard, because it's a, a right-handed world. So I have to like put them in a proper way, you know, it's like, all right, I'm doing your eyeliner. It's like, all right, can you look up so I can do your eyeliner? Okay. It's like, no, just look up. No, just your eyes. Okay. Okay. Then you're doing their lips. Ma'am, can you please close your mouth so I can put your lipstick on? Because you're going to look like Bozo. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm putting lipstick on you. You're not giving me a blowjob, all right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. So then, if there's, we have a hot new lipstick Valentine. I work for a hot new cosmetic counter at Garden State Plaza. I'm not going to tell you where I work, so I might get fired. But anyway, so everyone's like, do you have any left in stock? And I'm like, no, I'm really sorry. I can order for you online. Are you sure you don't have any in the back? Are you sure there's none in the back? What do you think? There's an Amazon warehouse in the back? We don't have a whole Amazon, like, warehouse where we can just go, oh yeah, let me go get it for you. Why would I tell you where I've got on it? It's, it's really stupid. What the heck is with this wild dude? Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we always have to wear black in cosmetics. Yes, I'm wearing denim tonight. I thought I'd shake it up a little bit. When we go shopping in another store, someone's like, can you get me this bra in a 36 double D? Ma'am, I don't work here. What do you mean you don't work here? You're dressed in black. So when I try to go shopping, I try to wear something different. I swear I must have retail stamped on my goddamn forehead because it doesn't matter if it's my day off. I could be in Target with jeans, a pink shirt, and someone's like, can you get this for me in a size 12? Can we have a little louder? <laughs> I'm cute. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's really funny the night down. So, yeah, working in cosmetics is a trip. So, but mostly we like everybody, not everybody's pretty cool. And if you, the nicer you are, yes, we will give you the gift that we've hidden in the back. We'll give you the samples. Don't ask for them. If you don't ask for them, we'll give you the whole world. Look at Mary over there, so adorable. I keep looking at you because you looked like my prom date when I was in high school. Really? I had a good time. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, I never know. I never know. You never know. It was cute and chubby, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll leave you with one last story. So my fiance is about 6'4". <clears throat> Excuse me. He's about 160 pounds dripping wet. He works at a freaking pizzeria. He's 6'4"? What is he, a fucking toothpick? 
He is a toothpick. He is. 6'4", 160 pounds? He's a toothpick. Wow, that is a toothpicky. He's toothpick. That's good, though. But what does he but got? he works at a pizzeria. Don't worry, his pepperoni serves me just fine. <laughs> the first night we met, you know, he thinks he's so cute, he's sitting on me, he's like, hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm like, listen, tool, get the frick away from me, really. <laughs> the one thing I kept thinking, my mother used to sing this song to me when I was little. Fat and skinny had a race, up and down the pillowcase. Fat fell down and broke his face, so skinny won the race. So you look at me, yes, I'm a plump girl, okay, I admit it, nice and curvy. But there's a third verse to the song. Fat and skinny went to bed, fat rolled over and skinny was dead. I was scared I was going to kill him. <laughs> but four years later, he's still here, you know, so hey. <laughs> That's all I got. Have a great night. Thank you. All right. Good job.